Awesome. We're getting a lot of people signing our petition. We're registering a lot of voters over here at uh, Compassionate Idaho and Moms for Marijuana. Uh, yes, it is a medicine. I'm the director of a, a cannabis club with 700 patients. Average age is 56. Cancer, glaucoma, lupus, MS, chronic pain, you name it. Uh, it's no joke. The science is there. Everybody knows all about it. You can't get this genie back in the bottle. It's too big. Everybody knows. we got to do something. All these people, Arlene's been putting this on for years and, and, and begging. We need help. We need signature gatherers. We need people to step up, do something about this problem. It's, it's, it's nuts. Moscow, this is great. Look at all these people enjoying this festival. You guys give Moscow a big hand. Yeah. Like I said, I'm Bill. I'm with the 45th Parallel out of Ontario, Oregon, and uh, and I'm a I'm a patient. I'm a card holder in Oregon. I live in Boise, though. I've lived I've lived in Boise since 1974, and uh, and I love the state. I love Idaho, but the, the laws for marijuana. I was thrown in jail for a joint. I had to bail out. It cost me more to bail out my truck and trailer than it did my my body. For a thousand dollar fine, I met with Butch Otter three weeks ago. He's a, he's a, he, 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 he listened, and I give him that. And uh, and I struck a couple chords with him, and I hope he'll listen more. But uh, this has got to stop. People got to stop going to jail for a joint. That's your tax dollars housing that guy in jail, seventy bucks a day, whatever it is. It's just ridiculous. We got to end prohibition. We got to do it now. We got to step up. We got to sign signature or get signature gatherers to help us in each of these counties so we can get this thing passed in Idaho the second time around. And that's what I got to say. Peace out. Woo! Thank you, Bill. Our next speaker about medical marijuana is Russ Britt. Russ Britt is a huge activist uh, in Idaho, and he'll tell you about what he's doing. So, uh, exactly right. I'm from North Idaho. My name's Russ Britt. I'm the lead coordinator up there with the, uh, the grassroots movement. Uh, I'm trying to remember right there. I'm having a tough time, of course, enjoying the 420 holiday festivities. But uh, first thing I would like to say is for anybody that's here and not quite sure about the movement that's going on, I want to remind you guys that uh, there's no saying uh, that uh, actions speak louder than words. And speaking of federal policy towards medical marijuana, that is, it describes it perfectly. With, uh, with what their mouth, they say one thing, but with their actions, they do something completely different. You know, they feed us propaganda. They say, no, it has no medicinal value. Yet... Washington, D.C., the only federal city in the whole United States, has a medical marijuana program. There's a federal medical marijuana program out there, the new investigative drug program. A lot of people don't know about that either. So they also, the biggest one, the biggest icing on the cake, they've also patented a cannabinoid. You can't patent a plant, but they patented a cannabinoid. Yes, they patented marijuana, so to speak. So, don't believe what they say. Believe what they do, for sure. All right, my next point. Um, Non-supporters also fall in a couple of categories. One of three. One, they either benefit from the laws being like they are. Um, I don't know, a policeman, judge, uh, grower. To those people, you know, I remind them, uh, you know, there is a law enforcement against prohibition, LEAP. They're uh, an organization of police officers and civil dudes, and I encourage you to check them out. So, you know, get get the word from, from your, your team, so to speak. Um, for the growers and dealers that are involved that don't want it to change, you know, nobody should be going to jail over a simple plant. You know, have some compassion for these people. Uh, you will still be uh, prosperous, prosperous uh, with different laws. Plenty of money to be made. 
and you won't have to hide or go to jail. Um, they also, number two, they either have not had a medical condition or their wife or kids have a medical condition where their life quality would be drastically benefited from marijuana. Those people amazingly change their tune as soon as uh, something happens in their family. All of a sudden their wife has cancer, hasn't eaten for a week, you know. All of a sudden they change their tune. To those people, you know, I don't have to say anything, but to those that have yet to have that happen, think that could be you. I'll forgive you to change your mind, by the way. Uh, three, the propaganda. Please, folks, don't believe it. As you've been hearing from all our other speakers, it's nothing but a bunch of words, not actions. Okay. The last thing I'm going to get up with is you've been hearing us driving to get more people helping us out with our movement. Um, it's one of my goals today to try to get a, a, a team set up in every county in the state of Idaho. Uh, if we had a team in every county, it would make it a lot better. Um, we need people to be helping out with this cause in lots of ways, though. You don't just have to gather signatures. You could uh, just volunteer to help us at one of our event tables or maybe to just put up flyers or maybe just to get on the internet and to just uh you know network for us but uh please go to our dad uh our booth uh and go sign up help join us we uh need the help for sure actually i would say since we're so close to 420 make it your 420 resolution and come join the movement thank you have a great day Let's hear it for us, Brett.